sure, sorry, I, um, I should have told you. This actually represents the uh, crowning point in my whole career. I, I mean, I've had a lot of nice awards given to me over the years, and I got the MBA from the Queen last year, which was very nice. And, and you know, thank you, thank you very much. Yes, it's probably because I made it to 70. <laughs> She's very sympathetic to age right now. Um, but this this is the real this is the real cherry on the cake for me. This is uh, called a Martin guitar. This is the name of the maker is Martin, and uh, it's about the Rolls Royce of acoustic guitars throughout the world. And uh, they've made this one for me. It's the Lonnie Donovan Skiffle Limited Edition guitar, which is fantastic for somebody mug like me who can't even play the bloody thing. <laughs> And it's for your benefit, I know you can't see it, there's a little crown on here, which indicates the king. <laughs> <laughs> and then it says S-K-I-F-F-L-E, Skiffle. I know you said Lonnie Donnie. All right! Oh, right. That's too fast, anyway. Well, this is... <laughs> this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is a song which that, uh, people got wrong ideas about folk songs. They, uh, there's, there's very few real folk songs now in the world. Very few. Usually get um, get composed by somebody. The, the, the principle of a folk song is something that has no identifiable author or composer handed down, you know, through the through the years from mum to kids and so on and so forth. And you know, um, uh, what kind of thing? What's that? What's um? <laughs> No, I'm not going to do my man to dust. Bloody idiot. Mind you, that's funny. No, I called you a bloody idiot. I'll take some of it back. Um, <laughs> he's right, he's right, he's right. My man to dust actually was a, a genuine, uh, you know, provable folk song. A lot of people think, oh, yeah, he wrote that, didn't he? We didn't write, we wrote the gags, is what we wrote, you know. But the song itself started out as My Old Man's a Fireman on the Elder Dempster Line, which was a shipping line in Liverpool. And that was the, the first, that was the first uh, sign of it. That was in 1700s, I mean, you know. Then he went to Birmingham, became the Birmingham University Student Union song. I don't know what the words were for that. And then I learned it when I was you know, four, five, six or something. Uh, at school, because uh, in the 1418 war... <laughs> 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 no, I, I wouldn't I'd take the piss. I mean, I know a lot of you were there. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Sergeant. Yeah. <laughs> um, in the 1418 war, the, 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 the troops sang this song that my mother doesn't, right? And uh, that's the version that I learned at school, you see. Which is, oh, my old man, the Dutchman, he fought in the Battle of Mons. He killed 10,000 Germans with only 100 bombs. One lay here, one lay there, one lay round the corner. One poor soul would have bullet up in the book. <laughs> Right, okay. Right. The song I'm singing by Woody Guthrie, everybody thinks he's a genuine folk song. It wasn't really. Because what happened was the Americans decided to uh, uh, erect an enormous series of dams, water dams, uh, on, the, on the west coast of America. Uh, and the project was called the Grand Cooley Dam Project. But, of course, it was going to put a lot of people out of house and home, farm, etc. <clears throat> and the government realised there'd be a lot of problems, there'd be a lot of aggro, you see. So they, they got hold of Woody Guthrie, who at that time was a very popular singer, very popular, his own radio series and everything. And they, uh, they paid him to write a song, what might call propaganda song, really, I suppose. Uh, what do they call it these days? Uh, spin, that's it, yeah. No, it's called bullshit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, to, to, uh, to loosen people up about the, the oncoming gang down. It's called the Grand Coolie Down. It's a beautiful song. And the mystic 
crystal glitter of those wild and windward sprays, men have fought the pounding waters and met a watery grave. While she tore their boats to splinters, but she gave men dreams to dream of the day that the Cooley Dam would cross that wild and wasted stream. Gorgeous words, aren't they? Eh? Of course, I shall bugger them up. <laughs> I mumble, you see, that's true. So I'll, get, I'll get, tell you what they are so you appreciate it. <laughs> Call another round. Stop the tape, the cannibal. 
Down in Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Down in Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Down in Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Hey!